Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the Coolpuck wireless charger. This is a QI or Qi compatible wireless charging plate and this is the retail packaging. So to give you a quick rundown of some of the specifications here, it's got a charging distance of four to 10 millimeters, takes an input up to 2.1 amps. It's got an efficiency rating of approximately 72%. Thickness is just nine millimeters and a diameter of 69 millimeters. So this is the black colored charging plate. They are available in uh, different colors, but primarily black and white is available. So let's open up the retail packaging and show you what you actually get included. So we've got a double-sided sticky pad, which we'll come back to in a moment. We've got the wireless charging plate itself. We've then got a user manual and a color-coded USB cable. This has got a full USB connection at one end, micro USB connection at the other. So it doesn't come with a mains adapter head. You can use the same one that uh, generally comes with your phone or a USB port on your computer, uh, but most people will generally have uh, a mains adapter uh, at home they can use with that. So that micro USB cable connects into the back of the charger like so. You can see on the side we've got sort of a gloss black finish and here we've got a little LED notification light uh, when the power is connected. On the top we've got a black silicone ring that holds the device in place and then we've just got plastic underneath here and this is where the charging coil is internal to the cool puck. And then on the bottom, fairly simple again, another silicone ring for actually holding it in place on the desktop so it won't really move around at all. Now, just out of shot, we've got the white colored version already connected up to the mains power light. So, and you can see with the mains power connected, you get the green LED notification light. Now, if I take a Nokia 1020 and sit it on here, you get the little sound that confirms it's actually charging. And you might note that on the screen, it's actually coming up with the charging icon. So if I try and give you a bit of a close up there, you can see it's charging. So if I actually now disconnect that, the charging will stop, there we go. And then if I sit it back on, the charging will commence again. Now we had a little green notification light. Now we've got a blue LED notification light on there. So to confirm that something's connected and charging. Now the 1020 is quite a big device, but you can see how the cool puck has a much smaller overall profile in comparison uh, to the device or most other charging plates which are often the same size as your mobile phone, if not bigger and more rectangular, which means that this is much more um, suitable for most desktops. It makes it better for traveling. It doesn't take up so much space and it's also quite efficient in comparison. Now, one of the other features that we've got here is the sort of silicone ring, which makes it quite grippy. So phones um, can't actually slip off from it. Now that's fine when they're actually on a desktop, but one of the neat features is that this could actually be used within a vehicle. And that's why provided in the box, you get the double-sided sticky tape basically with a little foam pad that you can actually attach to the bottom and then attach to your dashboard potentially or another surface if you choose and the silicone actually stops your device from slipping now the 1020 that we were using isn't the best example because you have to have a wireless charging cover and it's quite heavy um, so it's more likely to slip but what you'll see is it holds it pretty much in place but at that angle the 1020 is slipping off a bit if I brought in the Samsung Galaxy S4, which is a little bit lighter, and because it hasn't got the camera on the back uh, like the 1020, it holds in a much better position. And you'll see I'm actually tilting this up to probably about 75, 80 degrees. And then it eventually slides off. But if I had it at this sort of angle, which is sort of more conventional for most dashes, you can see I'm actually shaking it there and it's not really moving at all. Sort of obviously the flatter, the sturdier it's gonna be, but you can actually move that quite steep angle before it actually slides off, even with 
quite a bit of movement, which makes it possibly a very versatile in-car wireless charging solution. So that's a quick look at the Coolpuck wireless charger.